Hello, I'm Shivram. So I'm here with a question. So I have used long division method to find the square root of a number. So that is 1089 and the square root is 33. So here when we do this process, now we get a, a doubt and the doubt is why should we double this three and write it as six when you move from first step to the second. So this is a very uh, you know, intriguing question and the explanation is very simple. So in this video, I'll try to explain why we actually double this three when you go from first step to the second. So to explain this, I use a simple algebraic identity. So that is a plus b whole square. So a plus b whole square is a square plus two ab plus b square. Now here, what I do is I'll try to group this uh, formula in this way. So I leave the first term out. So a square will be a square. And if you observe the second and third terms, you have a common factor that is b. So I'll take b out and I get this result 2a plus b. Now the formula a plus b whole square becomes a square plus b times 2a plus b. Now if you see here, I have a square here and I have 2a in the second term. So this is the key for this method. So a is becoming twice when you move from first term to the second term. So I'll use the same formula and the same method and I'll read the same question here using this identity. So pay attention. This will be very interesting. So please stay tuned until the end. So I'll write 1089. So now here before starting this method, I can tell you one thing that we already know that 1089 is 33 square. So what I do is I'll write 33 square here. 33 square is 1089, which is already known to us. So now what I do is I'll convert this 33 square into a plus b form that is 30 plus 3 whole square. So when you expand, you get a square that is 30 square plus 2 times 30 times 3 that is 2ab plus b square, right? Now we'll do the same grouping here. So it will become 30 square plus what's common here. We have three common in both the terms. So I'll take three and keep it outside. So I get two times 30 plus three. Now, if you observe here, we have 30 square here. We have two times 30 square. Okay. Now pay attention. Now what I do is unlike what we do in schooling, I'll do this uh, question in a different way. So what I do is I take 30 here. So I write 30 here. So 30 squares, 30 into 30 is 30 square. 30 square is 900. So I write 900 here. So when I subtract, I get 189. Now, if you see the identity here, I used this particular step now, 30 square. I have mentioned 30 square as 30 times 30 and I arrived at 189 after subtraction. Got it? Now we'll move to the second step. This is very, very crucial. So if I go to the second step, I need to check this formula. In this formula, if I move from first step to second step, I have this particular term. So if you see this term carefully, it is nothing but 3 times 30 into 2 is 60 plus 3. That means whatever I get here, I should get the same term here as well. You can see that in the formula also. In the formula, I got B here and I got the same B here. So keep that in mind and operate this step carefully. So now what I know is certainly this 60 is double of 30. So I write 60 here. Now I'll put a plus here and this 3 is the key. Okay, so now I leave a blank for a while and I'll see here 60 plus 3 is adjusted here. So this is 60 plus 3 and this 3 which is left out will be written at the top. So 30 plus 3. I'll put a box before I write 3. Okay, now I need to write a term here as well as here and both the terms should be the same and they should give you 189 as the answer. So since 189 ends with 9, 9 is possible only when you multiply 3 times 3 or 7 times 7. In this case, we already know that it is 33 square. So I'll write 3 here. So when I write 3 here, I should write the same 3 here. So that will fulfill this criteria that is B times 2A plus B. So 2A is already done. So B and B are here 3 and 3. Now if you see here, it is 60 plus 3, 63 times 3 is 189 and when you subtract you get 0 that means 1089 is a perfect square 
and the final answer the square root is the answer at the top 30 plus 3 that is 33 right this is uh, somewhat different uh, from your schooling experience so what i do is how we used to solve in the school okay so you typically do this question in eighth and ninth classes so 1089 so what we do is in my method i have taken 30 times 30 okay and i've written 900 but what we can do it in an easier way is to take 3 and then write 3 so why do we take 3 simple whenever you see a number you start grouping the number from right so 1089 so we'll group from the right so this is the right side when i group i take two digits at a time so 89 becomes one group and 10 becomes a second group now i see this group that is 10 from the left and then i'll write a number that is near this 10 and a perfect square so number that is closer to 10 and a perfect square which is less than 10 is 9 and 9 is 3 into 3 so i just write 3 times 3 and i write 9 here so in my uh, previous uh, explanation i have taken 30 times 30 and i have written 900 so instead of taking 30 times 30 i take 3 and 3 i write 9 so both are same what i am doing is i am basically ignoring these two zeros i am i am not writing these zeros here so i am basically adjusting the place value right so when i do this i get 1 even if i write 30 and 30 i get two zeros when you subtract you get back the same answer now i'll double this three so when i double i'll get six in the previous no explanation i've taken 60 but here i'm taking six and now i put a dash and dash and then directly write the next number that is three times three so that is 189 so 60 plus 3 or 63 are the same why am i doing this simple it's a, it's a simple logic behind this so 33 can be written as 30 plus 3 which is 3 times 10 plus 3 so here this is the place value so 3 times 10 is the tens digit that is 3 and the next number is 3 times 1 that is the ones digit so when i did this question i have not adjusted for the place values i have taken the numbers literally but when you do it in the schooling in that particular fashion what you do is you don't write the place values you simply take threes and you solve it so both the methods are right the only thing is this method looks simple because you are not dealing with bigger numbers whereas the original explanation actually is in this way okay so this is the reason why we double and we simplify and then find the square roots and the logic is simple algebra i hope you like this video if you like please uh, subscribe to my channel thank you